hello everyone and welcome back to another video of today so i hope you enjoy spending the afternoon with me here as we are getting ready for chloe's birthday party this evening um, so there's going to be a lot of cleaning um, we're going to just get the house kind of prepped ready also getting some snacks ready for tonight um, and then also some decorating so i hope you enjoy this video and let's get into it So first of all, I just wanted to kind of clean up a few things around the house and then I also had to make a jello um, pudding dessert for a church function later on that day. Um, so I wanted to get this made and get this put in the refrigerator to cool. So I'm going to go ahead and get that mixed up and made first of all before we start with anything else. And then Chloe's birthday party will actually be after church this evening. We're going to have some of her little friends over and just have some cake and ice cream and a few snacks along with that. And needless to say, she is super excited about her birthday party um, and can't wait to have everyone over. So once our um, jello was in the refrigerator, then we can start with some cleaning. And I wanted to start here in the bathroom just to get this out of the way. Chloe, she was ready and willing to help me um, here. So we gave her a couple of little jobs to do. And she wanted to help with cleaning the toilet of all things. So we're going to give her a few instructions and let her go at it. Um, and don't worry, the little hands were thoroughly washed after this. Um, yeah, a few more lessons down the road, I think she'll get the hang of it and not touch where she shouldn't be touching. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'm gonna be in here with her as she's cleaning the toilet and giving her a few instructions as we go. And she thought this was super fun for some reason. Um, cleaning the toilet was a lot of fun for her. And yeah, it gave her something to do while I was cleaning off the sinks and just getting some of the surfaces cleaned. So this won't be a thorough cleaning by all means. Um, basically just wiping down surfaces, cleaning the toilet. And then I also did go ahead and get the floor swept So here is how it looks after it was cleaned and ready to go for this evening. And then I also wanted to put these um, few little last remaining decor pieces from winter up into the attic. Um, now if you see my last video, um, which was spring decorating, this video of today was actually recorded a little bit before that one, so that's why there's still a couple little pieces from winter decor out so I wanted to go ahead and get those put away up into the attic um, where they'll be good to go for next Christmas. And then here you will recognize this cute little bird pillow cover that you seen probably last week in the spring decorating video. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get that one put into the little form here and get that put on the couch. And then again in here in the living room we're just cleaning off surfaces. I'm getting the pull up pillows put back where they need to go. I'm um, getting a few new ones out, just kind of arranging things. And then we're going to dust and then sweep the floor. And also the couches and the recliner here needed a good sweeping off as well. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, something that doesn't take much time at all, but it makes such a difference. And 
Chloe, she really wanted to put the sweeper away, so yeah, she's struggling a little bit to get it over that hump in the carpet, but with one big shove, she got it, got it in the room. So next, of course, we're going to start with sweeping, just sweeping the floors really well. And I didn't mop the floors today. Um, that will be safe for a later day. I didn't really have time, you know, to do the mopping yet, but we'll just sweep it really good and call it good. And now that the living room is done, we're going to move out into the kitchen, which is where we'll be spending the majority of the rest of our time here this afternoon. Um, just putting some things away and then getting the kitchen kind of cleaned up and then starting with party decorations and fun stuff like that. So I didn't really have a specific theme that I was going for as far as party decorations. Earlier I was going to do like snowman themed, um, everything kind of winterish, but when I went to get decorations and things I really couldn't find snowman or snowflake themed things, uh, which you'll see in Chloe's cake why I wanted to do snowman themed. Um, but I couldn't really find a lot of things, you know, this time of the year already. Everything was pretty much sold out. So we just went with some pretty colors and went with that. And I think it turned out really cute. So we're going to diffuse some tangerine as well as some citrus bliss here in our oil diffuser. Just to kind of get that citrus smell in the air. Um, get it smelling nice and clean and fresh in here. And I'm going to go ahead and get my beverage dispenser out. Um, this is the first time that I'm using it. I think it's so pretty and I thought it would be fun to use it for our little party. And I'm going to go ahead and get some punch made here in a little bit that we will put in our beverage dispenser. So this punch recipe is really simple. Um, basically you just throw some things together and then of course you let it cool in the refrigerator and then just before serving, you'll add in some Sprite that you've seen me put in, put away earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get this made up into like a concentrate, and then I'm gonna put this in the fridge, let it get nice and cold, and then just before our guests arrive, I'll mix it up really quick and put it in our uh, beverage dispenser. After that was done, I went ahead and just put all the dirty dishes into the dishwasher just to get them out of the way so I could start just cleaning. Um, starting with the sink here, needed a good cleaning wipe down, so we're going to do that one first. Now we can start with our party decorations setting up for the party. So this little table over here to the side will be like for party favors for the little children that will be coming. Um, so we're going to set up some cute little containers here and I got a bunch of different little party favors that we'll put into the individual containers. That way they can just go through, pick out what they want and fill their little bags. So Jameson wanted to help me get this all set up. Chloe was taking a nap, so it was perfect. We, me and Jameson, we decided we're going to try to get everything set up, get all her party decorations out, and surprise Chloe when she wakes up. And I wish so bad I would have gotten her reaction on camera when she walked out into the kitchen and seen everything nicely decorated. She was so surprised and so thrilled with everything. Um, 
Yeah, I didn't think about it until later. I wish I would have got caught her reaction. So here is the table, how it looks um, when it was finished, everything was set out and ready to go. Now we are working on our bloom garland. I thought this would be fun to try. I've never done this before, um, but it actually turned out better than I thought. It was actually pretty easy to do and you just need a ton of balloons. But once you have all your balloons blown up, um, you just put them in this little clear string that I had gotten at Walmart and you just set it up how you want it. And this is how it turned out. Just a nice arrangement of different colors, um, some pinks, some blues, gold, and silver, whites, and yeah, we just arranged up how we thought would look good. And then over here on this little window here, we're just going to hang up a few decorations as well as a little four. And then moving over to the table, I just got kind of a garland of some little pom-poms that we're going to set up. And then I'm also going to just arrange the little party hats, just kind of scatter them across the table. That way the kids, if they want to wear one tonight, they can. And last but not least is the birthday cake. Now this one I made last night after everyone was in bed. I had some peace and quiet, so I decorated this. Um, and here is the table and the cake. So we have our little snowman cake. They're sledding and I have four snowmen um, just because Chloe is turning four. And then moving on to the kind of the snack part of the party. Um, we're actually going to be eating earlier on in church, so I didn't want to make like a huge meal or anything. So we're going to do some summer sausage along with some sliced like deli cheese. Um, then we're going to have our punch and then a little bit later I'll be making a fudge cake to eat with like ice cream. And then we'll also have Chloe's cake as well if someone would rather have that one. So we got two different kinds of summer sausage. The one has little chunks of cheese in it, and then the other one is just plain summer sausage. And we got this at a local store around here. And then once the food was kind of prepped and ready to go, I wanted to quickly clean up the kids' bedroom yet um, before people came. And there was just a lot of things that need to be picked up, um, kind of the normal for in here. And we're gonna go ahead and get that done really quick.
and then Jameson wanted to vacuum the floor so we're gonna let him run at it and let him get that done. And here is our fudge cake. I mixed that up and we're getting it put into the pan. And then we're gonna add some powdered ingredients on top. There's sugar, um, cocoa, and things in this top ingredient. And then last, we're going to add some water on top. And then we'll put it in the oven and get it baked. And this will be nice and warm, be perfect to eat with ice cream a little bit later. And I'm just getting everything put out, the plates and the cups and the plastic wear and things, just making sure everything is kind of prepped and ready to go. Once the cake was done, I'm just going to set that out, let it cool, and we'll be eating here in a couple hours. So here is how everything turned out. The party was a huge success. Chloe had so much fun. Um, I didn't record the actual party part just for privacy sake of our guests, but she had so much fun. Um, she loved the cake and all the decorations. I hope you enjoyed this video of party prep. Hopefully gave you some ideas. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe and stick around for future videos. I will see you next time. Bye.